we're going to update you on how my national service is going on at a tech firm and then how you can also be part of this particular journey and then what are some of the challenges i mean i'm facing the struggles the benefits the excitements and then what you can do to also get a better place in doing your national service for those of you who don't know what national service is i've actually made two separate videos which i'll be dropping in the description below so you can take time and then watch them and then understand what it is how to go through the process so in brief it's actually a mandatory one year service to the nation after the three to four years education in the university so in abroad it's internship here it's national service and then some other places they have other names that they call it so it's a mandatory one year national service program you go through just to serve the nation and then through that it's just to equip you to get industrial idea or exposure of what happens in the mm -hmm. mineral industry and then how you can actually cope around and then if you're lucky enough and you actually excel and proving that yes you can work in a challenging environment why not they can retain you you can be employed or you can just get the experience and then start something on your own so let's get right into it and then let's get you on how you can join this particular type of national service scheme and then whether it's good or it's not good That was last year it was time for all final year students to apply for national service okay so there are two things it's either you apply to a region which is you are going to apply to the private sector or you are going to apply to the government sector so you have the governmental and then the non-governmental so i happen to apply to a tech firm because i've heard so many stories and i've seen so many stories where people who go to the government sector to actually do national service don't get well equipped please not everyone not in all cases but mostly most people don't get equipped because they go and then they just go sit there someone will tell you to go and buy food for whoever is in charge or whoever works over there without doing anything really productive so as a tech guy as an IT guy I decided to take this opportunity on a Mali tech it's a tech firm I've been riding very fast a rigorous one of course that helps in building young talented professionals to become future leaders of the tech ecosystem here in africa and beyond okay, so you have a national service program where if you have a background of an it computer science engineering and any other related computer related course you do or you are doing a different course but you are studying computer science or learning how to develop a site then this is going to be an opportunity for you to actually get into it it doesn't matter your background just have the idea and be ready to learn to be groomed so i applied and went through a rigorous three months training where we are going to be tested on our capabilities and and then reasoning around technology so i went through that and then finally i got the opportunity to be part of amali tech one year national service program and then these are some of the disadvantages and these are some of the advantages I actually got from this particular program which is still ongoing we are in our fourth fourth month so, so yes we are actually in our fifth month and then it's really going on well for us yeah as i said about the journey so far so what are some of the disadvantages the disadvantages over there is is barely something i can really count about aside maybe the stress the fatigue it was it's really intense and then it's it's not for the for the week trust me it's not for the week because they build you to be more tactical and more productive and more strong in what you do so they are going to pile all this incredible i mean steady line or production line for you to actually go through this training where they groom you they train you and then you become perfect at what you do so we have stages based on some particular trainings you go through so we'll see your weakness and then they'll try to what shaping you so we have categories where you're going to be placed in where you actually start learning from there and then you'll be climbing the stakes to get into that particular peak where you are now capable of working in the main center so what are some of the advantages the advantages is you get more exposure to so many things because there are so many things i know right now trust me that is by the grace and the lovely opportunity that I actually got at Amalitech 
You know, I know so many things, trust me. But I wouldn't have even bother trying searching or trying to see if I can learn those things. But by the grace of God, by the grace of Allah, by the grace of what you believe in, I've been able to go into the system and then everything is going on well. So now, what's some of the other things? So working in the private sector, if you're really lucky and then you go through it and you're with the private sector, what happens is your allowance. The typing comes very early, it doesn't wait. As I'm speaking to you now, it's just some weeks ago or some days ago that people working at the private, uh, government sector actually got their allowance or received their typings, okay? Which is, which is really exciting for them as now, but if it's not coming, you're going to be frustrated because you need to still depend on your parents or depend on the little business you do or depend on some other people like a support system to actually help you go through those particular months that it does not come and then the private sector i mean gives you a good pay they give you much exposure they open you give you courses and other things because they want to groom you to be a particular what future leaders in the technical system so how do you get into this particular program or how do you get yourself in an IT field? i personally didn't want to lazy myself around um, i like being busy so going to the government side would it be best for me because I don't want to be pushed to anywhere where I won't be doing anything. I just want to keep myself busy and then I want to know more around my field because this is what I do and this is what I'm going to be doing. So I need to open my mind more. And then if I'm good and I go to a program well successfully, I might be retained. Even though I have plans or so, but please don't tell my employer, okay? The application is open for all final year students across the nation, okay? If you're in Ghana and if you are outside also and you are done with your final year projects or you are fine or you are abroad and you want to join to the program the description and everything will be below just click on it and then see how you can apply so it's actually starting now the application is open it's going to be ending on the 30th of april 2024 so that's the 2024 2025 national service year so try and then log onto the website which i'll be dropping below and apply so the background, all you need is to be an IT person, a junior student, uh, any other related courses around technology or software development. So if you really want to groom yourself, you really want to start something in tech, this is an opportunity I would love you to take. You're going to learn so many things. Your allowance is going to be coming on a regular, very good one, of course. The exposure will be okay. You're going to meet the gurus in the tech space also. Mentorship is what you're going to get. There are so many of goodies that you really need to hop on and then join be part of this particular amazing opportunity it's a, an opportunity i don't think you can get anywhere easy it's it's different actually so try and then grab the opportunity and then hop into it let me know if you have any concerns or any questions on how to apply or what you want to know more about amali tech before joining the national service program so if you watch this video to this far please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and then hit the dislike button if you don't like the video and then comment below and then let me know what you don't like about the video and then what you want me to change so yeah let me know what you think about the video so i'll be dropping more details of what to expect later in my next video and then what i want you to do is to hit that particular like button i want 50 likes and then i'll drop more details on what to expect and how it's going to go with you so please hit the like button i want 50 likes on this video and then i'll drop more info more details and what to expect and how to escape this is your tech hub here to empower here to educate here to actually open you to what is going on there are so many things going on in tech there are so many issues i've carried so much but nine to five work it's not giving that space i'm not getting enough space to be uploading videos on a regular from macbook new release the market the macbook pro from sora the video generative ai from a lot of things are really going on the tesla um ev cars that are going on the server truck like there's so many things the iphone 15 pro is still trending we have the ios 17 also trending the 18 also trending so many things are really trending very soon very soon i'll start being regular over here just giving you updates on what is happening in tech and then how you can also join tech